Skunk cabbage is a perennial wildflower found in the wetlands near the creek. It is one of the first sligo plants to emerge and flower. The flowers appear before the leaves. Close up, a flowering skunk cabbage appears almost prehistoric. This hood-like covering is called a spathe, which surrounds a ball-like structure called a spadix, which has many protruding petalless flowers. Through a chemical process called thermogenesis, a flower can heat itself. This allows it to melt its way through the snow cover. The heat, along with its foul odor and rotten meat color, helps attract pollinators like carrion beetles, carrion flies, and thrips. Spiders like to live in the spathe where they can await unsuspecting pollinators. As the petalless flower mature, the spathe opens more to allow pollinators to enter and pollinate the flowers. At first, the leaves extend upwards about a foot or two, then flop over and face upwards as they reach their mature length of three feet or more. Skunk cabbage has an extensive root system and is difficult to transplant. It is sensitive to changes in groundwater levels that have occurred along Sligo Creek due directly or indirectly to development. While most herbivores avoid skunk cabbage foliage because it causes a burning sensation when eaten, it is a food source for some wildlife such as snapping turtles, so these changes are a concern. The government also uses skunk cabbage as an indicator of wetlands. According to the U.S. National Park Service, skunk cabbage has some interesting aspects, such as skunk cabbages do not produce seed until they are five to seven years old. Individual rhizomes from which the leaves and flowers spring can persist for decades, perhaps centuries. The spathe is shaped to produce a constant movement of air within itself, helping to maintain an even temperature. Where are the skunk cabbage patches? Sligo has a fair number of seeps in the uplands, which sometimes support skunk cabbage well above the floodplain level. In his 2002 survey of our native plants, John Parrish found skunk cabbage in most of the sections of the park. Take your time while walking in the park. You are sure to find patches of skunk cabbage if you look carefully.